It's only game. Why you have to be mad? One of the favorite things I think I have about the Cyber Vault and similar events is just the sheer quantity of chaos particles that you get. And sure, I did spend a lot during this event. Uh, I'm definitely trending up as far as my spending is concerned, and that's not something that I'm very happy about. Um, but there's just been so many good value events, and uh, YouTube has taken an uptick. The channel overall is way more popular this month than it was uh, two months ago. So, you know, I'm very happy about all that. But I thought that uh, I thought that I should begin focusing a little bit more on finishing things. And I, while I've been doing that a lot with my with my heroes, I've been really focusing on finishing a hero here and there and, and not moving on once I get them to like red one and a half uh, or whatever. But I was able to finish Albus and I'm working on Vex and I thought that I would finish Vex real quick since I've earned enough to finally get him to Violet 3. And then of course, because of the gift of Sanctuary that I've gotten, a lot of people asking about the gift of uh, sanctuary you can get them during pet season uh, as well as a couple of other places you can purchase them with real money but the main places that you can get the gift of sanctuary is from uh, pet season now what it is is it's a free collar rank from for for uh, you know for any pet at any level uh, the best time to use it is whenever your pet is at is at uh, violet plus three without any items equipped without any items leveled up you just do that and it automatically equips the items and fully charges the items now you might say uh you know charlie why are you why are you maxing out vex first why are you wearing this neon green hat well i'm wearing the neon green hat in in honor of our boy vex here uh vex is an integral part in my current uh city of asgard strategy with you know with osh i use I use Vex with Zhu fighting in the uh, city of Asgard. Uh, slightly better of a pet than Fenris, and of course Albus goes to Sebastian. Eventually, whenever I level up the hero Cornelius and switch over to the uh, the Cornosh meta, uh, the Cornch meta, then uh, you know I'll be the, the Vex won't matter as much. But I still do use Kark quite frequently. I use Kark all the time in Arena, in Grand Arena in guild wars and in clash of worlds so the pet the the, the ability to free up the the pet choices because uh, kark can only use what like fenris and um mara the ability to free up the pet choices for elsewhere is pretty beneficial you know especially whenever you have uh, other integral heroes that you're using a lot like sebastian or iris that you know iris needs the albus if Al if oliver is on a tank pet and if biscuits on a, on another pet or another hero then uh you know then you need to put you need to make sure you have an available pet for iris you need to make sure you have an available pet for sebastian you don't need to but it's obviously it's beneficial for the bonus the the bonus stats and having the you know the almost nine thousand armor penetration is pretty nice. Whenever this guy gets to absolute star, which you know whenever his soul stones are added uh, to the pet soul chest and the lesser pet soul chest, uh, I will go ahead and get him to absolute star. That shouldn't be another month or so before he's added in. And then uh, the pet eggs, obviously, so he'll get there eventually. Uh, and of course the the advent calendar is still going. We only have I think we only have one more set of thirty. To get of of vexel stones in here but uh you know it's okay so the question that i have now is which pet to level next i've got uh oliver albus axel and vex all at maxed out with the exception of vex's you know soul stones as as i suggested i don't level dante i, don't, I didn't level dante and i don't really use aurora that much i don't like aurora at all and i think that um i think that the off tank choices that i have like uh, Maya, Morgan, Arachne, and even, uh, you know, here at like Kark, <clears throat> I've got uh, Isaac, uh, plenty of off tank opportunities for a third tank. So I don't know that I want to use Kane and uh, the the rest, Mara, Fenris, Biscuit, Merlin, and Chorus. I think the the easy ones to rule out are Kane, Fenris, and Merlin. Now Kane obviously has his uses if I'm building an Aurora line or you know, if I'm using Nebula anywhere or, or if I'm using Heidi, which I will be using Heidi soon, that's probably a big reason to level up Kane right now. Uh, a lot of people are suggesting uh, Chorus to help protect against, you know, control effects. And I don't disagree with you there. But I think King Biscuit is the hero, I'm sorry, the pet that I'm going to be leveling next. And the main reason why is because of the Amira patronage. Uh, the Amira patronage, Amira is probably the primary damage dealer that I've been using the most this year. She is 
better all around at countering a lot of the teams that are out there. Not really countering Dante, but um, Ishmael and you know any critical hit line, any uh, any line that relies on shields. Uh, she just she, she doesn't really get that impacted by Isaac that much since her damage is just one big hit, and uh, you know once the damage hits you, then then Isaac uses his ultimate to silence. But she's already used her ult, so it doesn't matter. But since I'm using since I'm using Amira so much right now, uh, and I already have Axel and Oliver capped, I was thinking that Biscuit might be the play. But um, again. Uh, Heidi is good for all these Dante teams, and I'm seeing Dante a lot. The biscuit that I have is kind of good enough almost. Uh, so let me know in the comment section down below, guys. What pet do you think that I should work on next? I asked this question in my live stream, and pretty much everybody said biscuit uh, because of Amira, because of the uh, the healing blocking uh, for the um, uh, the tank the tank uh, fortification and the healing fortification in Clash, Clash of Worlds. Uh, chorus. I mean, they all, they all have good answers. I think the I think the one that I'm going to be leveling up last. I think is Fenris. I think Fenris and Merlin. Since I've chosen to level the heroes that I have, I think Fenris and Merlin have the least use case. I don't really care too much for Celeste. I don't really use uh, big mage teams that require a Merlin team pet. Uh, and you know, same can be said for Fenris. Fenris is just not as good as Vex in almost every instance. And you know, even as a team pet, you know, I wouldn't use Vex as a team pet anyway. But I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm very happy to have, you know, finished Vex for now. All it is is a matter of time until I get his soul stones. Um, and uh, yeah, I think uh, I think the next closest, yeah, just I'm almost at absolute star with Merlin here. So I'm pretty, pretty excited to finish her off. Uh, that'll be cool. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Hope everybody's having a fantastic weekend. Uh, on screen now is a nice little pet guide that I put together a couple of weeks ago. If you're curious about, you know, pets and leveling decisions and all of that, check it out if you've got time. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.